I'm Diana Falzone, and this is In The Zone. Celebrities like Rihanna, Kendall Jenner, and Miley Cyrus have come out on social media to support the Free the Nipple campaign, which aims to change the laws that make it a crime for a woman to expose her breast in public. The campaign was started by actress Lena Esco, who has now directed and starred in a film of the same name that tells the story of the Free the Nipple movement's growth. And she joins me now in studio. Welcome, Lena. Well, thanks. <laughs> of course. So, why did you decide on free the nipple versus other causes like whales or fracking? Uh, well, actually, <laughs> whales is one of my other causes and dolphins. Uh, <laughs> but this one, it was because, I, well, one of them, my best friend, has been censored since she was five months old. She was kicked out of a church because her mom was breastfeeding her at five months old. And uh, I've always been around her. And I grew up Catholic, mm -hmm. even though I'm not religious anymore. But she, I grew up repressed and kind of shy of my body. And being around her, I just wanted to shoot pictures of her and videos of her and I was so inspired by how free she was and then I started she started telling me about if she were to go topless outside she would mm -hmm. get arrested and then that started getting me into researching more about the history of women's rights all the way back to Susan B Anthony in the mm -hmm. late 1800s and because of her women were first allowed to vote in August of 1920 so that kind of started and then other people like Phoenix Feely who's a girl here that was arrested a few years ago in the New Jersey Beach I remember that story for being yep. topless and she was in jail for nine days uh, and also went on a hunger strike uh, strike for nine days so that kind of started it all and then I think the more we were working on the script the more I realized it was important to do this mm -hmm. and we were actually in in Wall Street in Zuccotti Park in 2011 kind of testing the grounds with a few of our friends going topless and within like I think within like two minutes we had hundreds of people topless uh, just kind of like all around us. So you inspired a movement and but what's so weird about that is that women still get arrested in New York City cops still go crazy even though since as you pointed out in your film since 1992 it's mm -hmm. been legal mm -hmm. for women to go topless and some either do whatever they want without their shirts on. Yeah. So what's up with that? <laughs> I, I think a lot of the cops were not educated on mm -hmm. it. Even in actually last this summer that passed, I was doing a story for the Daily Mail, and we went topless in Washington Square Park, and the cops came over and mm -hmm. they told us to wear our tops because mothers were complaining. <laughs> so even though it's legal since 1992, I think more cops need to be educated on this. Um, and mothers would come up to me and be like, "You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what you're doing." You, should, you shouldn't be fighting for women's rights topless. And I said, number one, I'm not fighting. I just want to have dialogue. And yeah. number two, you have a two-year-old son here, and you were just breastfeeding him a year and a half ago. And, and at what point did this nipple become so obscene to you? you know? Right. It's almost a societal shame that's put upon us. So with your campaign, with the film, what do you hope to achieve? I hope that the conversation will get a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. I hope that one day you know, there'll be a law protecting or creating an equality between men and women under the federal government. Mm -hmm. And I hope that this will open people's minds and it's also showing how we are still so puritanical in our mentality and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So being topless does not equal to nudity and that's the whole big misconception. Right, and you, like you said, 37 states have it legal. It's just strange that there's still such a stigma yeah. around it. Yeah, I mean, there's so many laws against women's bodies but barely any laws against men's bodies and something mm -hmm. I want to bring up in the early 1900s tens of thousands of men were getting arrested for going topless because they didn't want to wear the one-piece suit hmm. and it wasn't until 1936 that four men from Coney Island fought the law and obviously it was passed and it helped because the judge was a man mm -hmm. and now men enjoy that right just because we have a movement and a film called Free the Nipple it does not mean that we want the whole world to go on a topless revolution it's about equality you know mm -hmm. the nipple has become the Trojan horse to really start a dialogue about inequality and oppression in women. Mm -hmm. um, so if I would have made a movie called Equality and nobody was going topless, no one would be talking about this issue. So there's certain things you have to do to really start a dialogue. Right. Well, sex sells, even though you shouldn't <laughs> have the nipple be so sexualized, exactly. as you're pointing out. Were you surprised by the outpouring of support from celebrities like Russell Simmons? And we mentioned some of the others earlier. Uh, yeah. I, I just a little bit. I mean, I think artists are a little bit more open-minded and mm -hmm. progressive in that sense so I wasn't that surprised yeah but I think uh, Russell Simmons he's been a big supporter I think it's I think the more people know about the the real meaning behind Free the Nipple the name it's funny it's engaging it's supposed to create some sort of right. like what is this you know mm -hmm. and I think once you learn more a little bit about what we're doing it's not 
it's not what you think it is. You know, yeah. we're not here promoting people going topless and, you know, opening your windows and there's like thousands of women. Right. This is not like your uh, whip it out Wednesday or whatever these do on the radio show. This is a yeah. whole different. Like you said, it's yeah. about promoting gender equality yeah. and getting rid of the double standard. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And congrats on the film. Thank you. And guys, make sure to check her out for more on Lena Esco and Free the Nipple. Go to the official website, freethenipple.com. And for everything entertainment, go to fox411.com.